The Big Hell Lifestyle, it chose me. Shut up and sit down. What's everyone? Welcome back to another video with Mac Morris. So, of course, as always, please go ahead and subscribe here. Hopefully, I can place that exactly where that's sitting. Um, stay tuned for more information, uh, videos in the future related to hair and skating. Uh, we know both. And so, on today's video, we're gonna be talking about big hair. Now, if you've seen my other videos, if you've seen my Instagram, shoot, if you've seen my Instagram story, um, you've probably seen sometimes our hair is like literally out here, and sometimes it's like here, right? Of course, in the braids I'm referring to here. But, and of course, you know, with thick hair, you know, it gets hot. It's a lot to deal with. Do I really want to deal with that often? No. That's why I keep it in braids so much. The only time I usually wear it out is if like there's some very special event or I like a photo shoot or something, which in this case I'm not really doing. Uh, but today we're going to talk about how you can manage your big hair if you want to get it bigger. Just a couple tips, do's and don'ts of how you can actually make that happen, right? Let's get into it. So do number one, um, if you're looking for big hair, of course, if you are blessed with especially the type for hair, the shrinkage is ridiculous, and mine is ridiculous too. So number one is just stretch, right? Um, I keep them in braids, and of course I have to take them out the braids, like they're in this much longer state than what it typically is. Um, but then when I put them in braids, like I moisturize them well, so like that's typically handled pretty well. Different ways for you to uh, stretch your hair, twist, braids, um, of assorted types. If you want to do like certain types of buns, you can definitely do that too. But typically like I kind of go for the braids. Um, blow drying your hair out, using rollers, like lots of different ways. But of course in my case, I'm doing braids, so it typically just kind of holds on to it. Um, with that, the other part of that is moisturizing. If you're stretching your hair, uh, the thing is like you're stretching your, like if, especially if it's curly, it's, it wants to sit in that natural state. Because you're stretching it, you want to make sure you're putting as much moisture as possible and keeping it locked in, right? So please, 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 Use your water. If you have an event the day before, I highly suggest you doing some type of braid. It can be a light braid, it doesn't have to be like a bunch of box braids that you just installed. But just do something super light, put some water, get some product that you have, and do like two light braids on the side, and that'll do like wonders for not only moisturizing your hair, but stretching it for the next day. So when you get up, all you gotta do is take those braids out, you're ready to rock. That is do number two, make sure you moisturize it. Now, do number three is use a pick. So I don't have my pick on me. I left it in my car. But anyways, I'm going to use this one so you guys can see. I'm using this rat tail comb, which is much more difficult, but I'm just going to show you guys what I do. First, I'm going to break up what these braids look like so you guys can see like the full effect of what how big my hair can get. And the crazy thing is it gets bigger than what this state's about to be. So give me two seconds. <laughs> Typically what happens is, um, because after you do your hair, right, the most shrinkage you're going to have is going to be at your roots when you're doing braids because that's the one part that's actually not being stretched besides like it being laid down unless you're like combing your hair down. In my case, probably the least, amount, like the most amount of shrinkage I'm going to have is going to be at my roots. So if you want to just make your hair a little bit bigger, you can go to your roots and just kind of pick them out a little bit. Um, in this case, it's a little harder because this thing like be grabbing on my hair and like doing the absolute most. Um, and I don't really want my hair to be much bigger than what it is because it's already pretty ridiculous. Um, well, this will help loosen it up a little bit, make it look a little bit bigger. Um, and then from here, at doing like another light braid, so what I'll typically do is after that's done, um, I may do like uh, the light braids that I was talking about. I'll split it on the middle, um, the middle part. And 
from now. And then I'll do one braid on this side, one braid on this side. That way in the morning when I'm going in for work, like I'm ready to rock. And it'll be much more not so lopsided and I'll have more of a shape versus like being as crazy as it is right now, which I guess is the point of the video. So it's not the end of the world, right? So a couple of don'ts really fast, right? Cause of course everybody wants the big hair, right? But it comes with some prices, right? We said it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, for a good reason. Okay, yeah. And though this is kind of opinionated, but for the first don't, I'm gonna say don't cover your hair. I'm sorry, your head, face. Jesus, what am I saying right now? Don't cover your face. And so by that, you know, if you have a photo shoot where it's like your hair is literally only focused, then fine, my if you know like, your best asset is your hair, then fine, cover your face. But majority of the time, especially if you're going to like some event or something, or meet someone, I mean, sure, your hair is awesome, but like, more often than not, people want to see your eyes, they want to see your face, they want to see what you look like. And like, the hair is supposed to be like the addition to versus like the takeaway from. So I try not to, that's why I usually keep it in braids, or like I put a headband on or something, and ready to rock. But um, just try not to cover your face. I, I, I personally hate that. And, you know, no one wants to just see a bunch of hair. Like, hair is cool. Like I said, it's an asset, but it's not, like, the main thing. Like, you want to see you, like, your face. Like, who am I talking to? You, man, I'm talking to you. So, first though, the second don't is don't not have a backup, backup plan. So, let's say you're going out. I'm going out to some cake out today, and I'm like, I'm wearing my hair out because I know my cousin's there, and I want to show out so they can see what my growth been looking like. See now. See what it do, right? If you do not go, I'm sorry, if you go and don't have a headband or something, like in my case, like a hair tie, you're playing yourself. Because the minute it gets high, the minute like you're sitting out there, you're like, your neck is on fire. Nah, bro. Like, go ahead and put that bad boy up. We always have a back out. In case something goes wrong, I'm about to put this up real fast. I'm like, all right, y'all, y'all ready to rock now? Because I'm not doing this. Um, Cause like I said, it, with the big hair comes the heat, and the heat literally gets trapped back here. Don't play yourself. Put have something to put your hair up, some way, shape, or form. Whether it be a bandana, um, a hairband, a hair tie, something like some hair clips, like in the car or something. Like just be ready to get out if you need to, because you probably will. All right, last one of the don'ts, and this is gonna sound so funny, but I'm very serious. Okay, the thing about your hair, especially if like you have like flowy hair. Whereas like if you do like a certain movement or something like you get whiffs, right? So make sure when you are putting before you go out, like make sure your hair smells some somewhat decent. Right now, my hair smells like product and oil, like the oil that I put on my scalp. Um, please do not go out there if your hair is dirty. Like do not wear your hair out, man. It's going to smell. It's gonna smell like sweat. People are gonna be like, what is that? I don't kind of smell. And it's your hair because you're over here doing this party or whatever, but someone's like, ooh. I'm going to be going to shower and it's your head, bro. I'm like, it's your head. Come on, man. Like, that's not a good look. So, make sure before you go out, like, you put some product on, smell your hair. Like, if you can't smell your hair, ask a friend. Ask them to be like, look, man, like, how does this kind of smell funny? They go, hopefully, they'll be real with you and they're like, yeah, it does. Don't wear it out, boy. And they're like, all right, let me put quick on my hand. But yeah, like, don't, don't do that, man. It's not a good look. This is not a good look, okay? Thank you all for checking the video out. Uh, hopefully, big hair tips helped y'all a bit, especially for my other lovers or people that I assume I'm gonna be, because I know some of you guys are on the journey to growing your hair out. Let me know if this video helps y'all. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks, y'all.